there, Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with another video. So today, as you can see, I'm down in my mine, and oop, let's not see the back of my head. Whoop, whoop, where are you? Okay, so this is the back of my mine. Uh, I've gone a little ways this way, a little bit this way. I've been mining like crazy. I've widened my stairs and uh, set up some resources. I've been collecting things. See, I've got... I've moved a lot of this upstairs. I've been cooking this into smooth stone. Uh, I finally got a silk touch. So now I'm going to be able to collect uh, stone. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to build upstairs, but I want to use uh, stone brick to do it. I need a lot more cobblestone. Uh, I mean, I, I, can, uh, I can cook the rest of this, but it's going to be a whole lot easier if I just go mining with this. So I'm going to mine for a little bit, and I'll be back shortly. Today's Let's Play <laughs> is just a quick lesson on how to repair a tool. See, I've been, I've been down in the mine. Uh, here, there's the back of my head again. Oh my goodness. I've been down in the, the mine, and as you can tell, I've, I've used my pick. It's, it's, it's getting worrisome. We'll just leave it that way. Now, I have another pick that I've been through. I think this is my third or fourth. I have two more that I've made. Uh, I was lucky enough to get mending out of the fish farm. Uh, so I'm going to use this lucky pick and these diamonds and these other ores to mend this tool. Now, if I had mending on my armor, I would want to take that off. I don't yet. haven't been fortunate enough to find that many mending books. Uh, but let's just take a look. Let's make sure I'm here alone. Okay. So I've got seven diamonds and a few coal. And I, I desperately need coal. I'm almost out of um, torches. Let's just take a peek. Okay. So I'm going to tower up, and then I'm going to blow through this with my lucky pick, which has, uh, what is it, fortune... Fortune 3 on it. So that'll get me more coal, and it will also get me more diamonds. But it has the side benefit of mending my tool. So give me one second to finish stacking, and then we'll get started. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this if you're afraid of heights. Uh, as you can see, I'm really, really high up here. So I've put two stacks of coal, two stacks of redstone down. I've got this pick that I'm going to put in my offhand, and I'm going to use my lucky pick to actually break these blocks. So I'm just going to uh, I'm going to move over a little bit, and I I am <laughs> I'm scared of heights, so I'm going to press shift while I do this, uh, and that should get me um, f from falling off in case my finger slips or whatever. Now, as you can see, the tool in my left hand is periodically picking up those experience bubbles. Uh, so as soon as the tool in my right hand is fully charged, then the next experience bubble goes to the mending tool. So I'm just going to blow through all the rest of these. And I don't think, uh, let's see, did we see? Yeah, I've got, I've got plenty of room. So that one stack <laughs> of... Uh, of Redstone has given me just multiple stacks. Now, yes, I know that you'll get multiple stacks anyway with a normal tool, but a fortune pick doubles, sometimes triples, the number of um, items you get returned. Now, it's not return. It's not fixing my pick as fast as I thought it would. It may take a couple of stacks to mend that tool totally. Uh, let's see. And as you can tell, my experience levels on my, um, my, my, my normal levels are increasing as well. One more. Okay. So seven diamonds gave me 22. That's pretty sweet. Um, one stack of redstone gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a little stacks. Uh, that's a pretty good return on my investment. So I'm going to go put this up and keep uh, mending my tool, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, taking off on uh, the next stack. Now this one I put four stacks up, 
too wide, so I should. I'm hoping that this will be enough to to completely um, repair this tool. I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, turtle in that boat <laughs> oh no oh no don't knock me off no okay okay uh, let's go sleep <laughs> uh, so I've been down in the mine for a while and I haven't slept for a while so yay phantoms Die, suck a fish. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Yeah. Come on now, guys. Come on. Come on. Dive bomb me. Anyway, do it. Do it and die. That's right. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to pillar back up there and get that. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick these up. I got sidetracked by that turtle in my boat. Uh, Mr. Turtle, sir, I don't really think you want to be in there. Come here. Oh, oh good. Uh, where'd my boat go? So I guess I can't leave my boat out because <laughs> the turtle wanted to get in it. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I got to tell you, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, thank you, Feather Falling. Because of Feather Falling, I did not die from falling almost 20 blocks. Uh, that could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, let's see, what do I have that I can, uh, well, I don't, I don't have any more of these blocks that I want to break, so I guess I'll use dirt, not loving it, means I'm going to have to switch back and forth between, uh, dirt and, uh, or I'm sorry, a shovel and my pick. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't operate the keyboard and the mouse and my mouth at the same time, apparently. So let's get this set up. Okay, this one's recharged. Uh, this one doesn't have mending. This one does. So we'll try these and we'll get this, okay? So I'll switch back and forth between two and three. So three... So that was four stacks and when I took them all in so the next thing I do is go convert them to blocks because inside here if you do it with blocks um, it you get a better efficiency uh, out of your furnaces in other words if one piece of coal can smelt eight items you would think uh, one block which contains nine pieces of coal 
would be able to smelt, uh, what is it, 9 times uh, 8, would be able to smelt 72, but it really smelts 80. So you get uh, a better efficiency uh, by using blocks. So I do like to convert them. Does that make sense? Uh, so I use my crafting table. Let's see, let's go get all my fuel. Uh, let's go get them all that I can carry and put them on here and I just put them up here in big old stacks convert them all to blocks and this is a lot of coal by the way so there's 64 blocks and the rest I'll have to do manually now to do this uh, I don't know if you're aware of this and right here click once and then just drag and what that does shift drag will evenly disperse what's in your hand across the blocks that you are on. So it's a good way to get things even uh, really quickly. And then shift click will pull all of them out of your uh, space here. So let's go get the rest of these and do that and then head back to playing. Okay, I've converted it all to fuel. Uh, there are the blocks. I made my extra torches and put the extra wood up. Uh, I, I ran out of torches downstairs. I'm actually, I think I'm going to take a stack plus what I have in my offhand downstairs. That leaves me two stacks up here. Now I've completely lit up out here. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's go sleep. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and go sleep. Uh, and bring on daylight. Because we do not like the non-daylight. We do not like the phantoms. So what I was going to show you is uh, <laughs> I'm not very good with a bow, although uh, I, I want to be. So what I do, I, I've got my chickens in there laying eggs. So I come out here with a stack of eggs uh, periodically and throw them around to get me some chickens. We'll get a couple stacks. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, because little baby chickens, first of all, they're fast, they're small targets, and if you can hit a baby chicken with a bow and arrow, you're doing a good job. Uh, so let's get that other one. Now, typically, I will let them grow up, um, unless I'm just really needing some practice, and I, in which case I'll come out here and try and shoot these babies. But when they get bigger, I'll come out here with my bow and spend some time trying to kill them because that's really good practice. And they're babies, they're small. Now they don't yield um, uh, raw chicken, which is one of the reasons I like to wait. But I'll come out here and kill them and then pick up the feathers and the chickens. Again, it's just target practice. And then I'll put the chickens in here and make, uh, make cooked chicken. So it's a good way for me to you know, build up my food reserves uh, and practice my bow at the same time. So that's what I do. That's, that's me. I'm a geek. What, what can I tell you? Now, briefly, let me explain why I self-identify with being a geeky Minecrafter. That doesn't mean I'm going to build geeky things. It means I self-identify in my real world as a geek. Uh, and I geek out on Minecraft. I love playing Minecraft. So uh, I... I just self-identify as the geeky Minecrafter. So I hope that explain, uh, hope that clarifies it. I had a couple of questions come in about that. So that's what that means. Okay, so let's see, what have we done? We did some mining. Uh, did I show you my fish, fish farm? I'll give you a brief tour of, of the things that I have done off camera, uh, and then we'll close this episode, okay? So first of all, you've seen where I put the, uh, the chickens, and I had quite a few in here to begin with, but oh my gosh, they were so noisy, and they were crazy laying eggs. I mean, I, I had a double chest full. So I killed all the chickens that were in here and then threw eggs until I got two more, and I've just been letting them fill this up. So in this mining session, I, I've been mining about mm, two hours-ish. So I've got two stacks plus a little uh, in the last two hours. Oh, plus the ones I took out of here because this row was empty when I started this mining session. So I threw two stacks and I have two left plus one. So 
that's in two hours. That's that's not bad for two hours work. Um, I've put myself just a little, and I'm right here on the edge. I put myself a little bed in here so I can at least sleep. Uh, and then this is my fish farm. So uh, I think this is Doc 77's design. Uh, this is a hopper with a fence post, a bucket of water on it. Now that's a hole under, you know, beside it so that water flows into that hole. That's a note block, a trap door on the block above it, and then a pressure plate. And when you, uh, when you fish, when you hold down, let's see, let's get right here, and you cast, and you hold down right here, um, and I, I do this AFK, I'll, I'll throw a weight on a key, uh, I re rebind the uh, right arrow key to, or the right click key to be the down arrow, and then I've got a little tripod, a, a little weighted tripod that I stand on my keyboard, and I walk away, and it AFK fishes for me overnight. Now, I know what you're thinking, yeah, that's kind of cheaty, but I am in a single player world, uh, I'm sorry, I am in a server world, but I am alone, uh, and it, I, I could sit here and make videos of every single block that I break, every single thing that I do, but man, oh man, does it take a while to get those results. Uh, so I do AFK fish mostly for the goodies. Okay, and then here's, uh, oh, I definitely need some more light in here. This is where I was in before I came went mining. So what I do is I AFK a fish, and it can fill some of these up. Now this is that little session you just saw. I got three items. But as you know from fishing, you can pull out mending books, uh, well, I'm sorry, enchanted books, fishing rods, bows, all kinds of stuff. So I let this fill up while I'm AMK fishing, and then I come down here and I pick out what I want, and then I throw this switch, and it disposes of this stuff for me. It's, there's a little bucket of lava down in there, and a little bit of circuitry there. And uh, then when I close this, anything that I put in here will stay in here. Okay, but as soon as I throw this, it dispenses it and it now goes away. So, and then I, I'm just capturing, see these are the enchanted books that I've got. Uh, these are some of the mob drops that I've got. Uh, now, not these, these I, I brought down here to build with, but I am, uh, I am accumulating things and I will eventually build storage in here, here. maybe even a sorting system. Let's see, why is that floating? Uh, this is the faithful uh, resource pack, but I just am not loving the how that floats. I may go back to the other one. So, also in the comments below, why don't you vote on something with me here, okay? I notice a lot of YouTube content creators will use vanilla, no resource packs, okay? Uh, which I think is... Uh, you know, it's the vanilla game, and, and that's fine. But let me show you what that looks like. So let's get rid of this and reset. So this is the vanilla game. And it does change it a little. Now the one I was playing with is this same, it's faithful to, you know, how grass is rendered and how blocks are rendered. Uh, but it's a little higher resolution, and I, I like a higher resolution. I have a really beefy computer. Uh, and I'm allocated over six gig of, of RAM just to, you know, Minecraft. So I, I've got the machine to run it. Now, I like, I prefer this uh, texture pack. I'll show you what this looks like. To me, this is very medieval. Uh, it's, it's just, I just like the way this renders. I mean, look at this. Uh, the leaf blocks are really somewhat transparent, just like they are in real in Minecraft. Um, I like the texture on this wood. I mean, look at this. The door. Oh, one of the chickens got out. See, you have to die. Oh no, I bet she came in when I opened the door. Uh, so I just like the way the chests appear. I, I just, I like this texture pack. So in the comments down below, I'd like you to vote. Um, if you want me to play plain vanilla, I will. If you are okay with 
Faithful. I'll play that. Uh, if you're okay with Chroma Hills, which I really like, uh, do let me know, and that's how I will play. Now, when I'm in here, I'll just tell you, when I'm in here mining and playing by myself, I put it in Chroma Hills. Oh, oh, oh hold on. I do want to uh, put this up before I forget that I have it with me, because that would be bad. Uh, so when I'm down here mining by myself, I am playing in Chroma Hills. I just prefer it. Uh, but you let me know in the comments down below which you prefer, or if it even matters to you at all. Uh, now I'm going to be careful coming down here, because as it turns out, there's a slime chunk down here. And when I'm down here mining, uh, a lot of times I'll come out and there will be a slime in this hallway. He will have uh, spawned in down here in this hallway and head for me to eat my face, and that's a bad thing. So anyway, as you can see, I have been mining. Every one of these torches represents a slit that's cut all the way through. It goes all the way through here. I'll just run down here and show you. It goes all the way through several hundred blocks uh, this way. We're running, we're running. We really need a torch there. Uh, now I do put the fence gates down at the front and the back of the mine uh, because if I do get a low enough light level, it is possible for them to spawn in. And I don't want... What's this? Okay, I normally fill this stuff in, but maybe I was out of cobble. Uh, I don't want them to be able to, you know, if they do manage to get out in here... Oh gosh, that scared me. Yeah, I think there's a uh, cavern on the other side of this wall. Because uh, when I come down here, I hear zombies and... and uh... Oh, I thought I saw one. I hear zombies and whatnot down here. So uh, one of my next projects will be to go in, you know, pop into that wall and go find out where he is and uh, and kill him and light up that cave. Uh, so I think this is where I'm headed back. And I've just been collecting resources. There's more I could go convert. Um, and I think, do I have any in here? Nope, okay. So uh, that's my mine. And like I said, uh, why does this not have a light in front of it? Meaning it goes all the way through. Because it does, right? Or am I going to get down here and get stuck? Anyway, I try to be consistent in how I build my mine. Headed back towards the main shaft, all the torches are always on the left. Headed away from the main shaft, all the torches are on the right. And by doing that, because I will do multiple branches like this, I'll have, you know, that one that goes east and west, this one that goes east and west, and I'll have, what's this? Oh, can't believe I left this. Okay, I'll have uh, multiple channels like this, so I need to know how to navigate my mind. So this is a main shaft, so all the torches will be on the right going away from this shaft. Ditto this way. So when I'm, you know, if I wind up, 300 blocks that way and I'm running down that slit I don't know if I'm on this one or that one or the other one so I look down to see how many blocks and where the torches are and that'll lead me back to this main shaft which is where my e entrance is right up here oh, let's close this okay so that's basic mine navigation uh, because you know that's because we can uh, this is me saying it's been a great day. I got a lot done in two hours worth of mining, uh, quite a few resources. I think I'm going to be ready to start building my base after one more mining session, and I'll bring you back for that when I've got the resources outside and I'm ready to start building. So till next time, this is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. Happy mining! <laughs>